All right, here's another one I see teams doing frequently is uh, when they do their retros, which is fantastic that they're doing retros, but if you don't uh, set yourselves up to be able to get those actions actioned, then uh, you're not actually doing anything with it. So what often happens is someone will do a retro, uh, lots of great ideas come out of it. There's probably way too many action items and, they, and you, first of all, make sure you prioritize the action items, right? Make sure you say this one thing is the most important thing uh, that we need to do. Uh, or if you have the cap capacity to do so, here is three things that we think we can cover. Now, in order to really get on top of those and to ensure that those actions get actioned, is put them in your backlog. Don't just leave them as a post-it note hidden somewhere on someone's desk. Put them in your backlog, right? Because then someone can own it, someone can pick it up, and someone can actually do something about it. Particularly if they're big things, right? If you, as a, as a team, have said, we're gonna do automated testing, right? That's not something you can do overnight, right? That's not something that can just come out of nowhere. You have to plan for it, and it's as big as doing a feature if not bigger. Uh, so you have to put it in your backlog and in that case, something as big as that would be an epic, right? Treat it the same way you would treat features uh, because at the end of the day, if you do those things that make the team work better, then you'll be able to produce more features over a greater period of time. So it is very, very valuable work and should be in your backlog, right? Because remember, anything in your backlog is anything that is team effort. It doesn't have to be focused on the product, it doesn't have to be something that uh, that is related to the product, it's what the team is doing, it is the team backlog. Anyway, just another quick tip, uh, give sub, like, all that sort of stuff, make sure you check out our other channels, uh, if you've got any other suggestions, anything else you want me to talk about, drop it in the comments below and I'll see you next time.